Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Safam, Ruchi. Good afternoon, Deepika. Good afternoon, Durga Prasad. Good afternoon, Samir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Sajid. Good afternoon, Chintu. Good afternoon, Manish. Good afternoon, Vinay. Good afternoon, Surya. Good afternoon, Vinay. Very good afternoon, everyone. Long time we are meeting after a long time. I look like because yesterday there were no classes. I think in the first uh, half classes happened, but later half these people are saying that the net is out of order. We complete the reptiles. Okay, very good. Thanks for reminding me. We complete the reptiles. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me come to the <coughs> mammals. Mammals, okay. So, what all special characteristic of mammals? First, we will do the special characteristic. I will not call them triploblastic, coelomate, understood. But special characteristic which, if present, make someone a mammal, which is a mammal, by default, I mean, but without any exception, without any exception, all mammals have memory glands. Mammals are characterized by memory glands. Memory glands. Functional memory glands in the females. Memory glands. Without fail, all mammals have memory glands. There are some more characters which mammals have and other vertebrates don't have. You see this pinna is only we are being given this pinna. This hair, only we are being given this hair, right. Uh, God has given a connection between the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere of the brain. And I, although they have, you know, uh, same, they look similar, but the functions are different. And in mammals, both then, both the functions can be integrated by corpus callosum. If you remember your first year of preparation and or your... Uh, Class 12th. Not mammals. Aims batana hai beta. Someone said mammals to start. Sorry. Aims not complete. Aims ruchi not started or uh, started but not complete. Aims. Aims, okay. Not completed, not started. Okay. Sorry, sir. But so aims the birds. Okay, some characteristic feature of the birds. They are, they are four limbs. First of all, they are homeotherms. They are homeotherms. They can control their body temperature. A very, very important characteristic. Without fail, all birds and mammals. All birds and mammals are homeotherms. They can control their body temperature. Very important point. They are four limbs. Their four limbs are modified into wings. Their four limbs are modified into wings. Very, very important. The hind limbs. Hind limbs are having a, a characteristic avian pattern, a bird-like pattern. You know, you have seen an avian pattern of hind limb. Avian pattern where, uh, I'll show you like this, that there are four, uh, four digits. Three of them in front and one digit behind, like this. Hind limb is having a characteristic avian pattern to clasp the branches. They can clasp the branches. Their hind limbs have scales. They have a dry skin and their hind limbs, hind limbs, hind limbs have scales. Please remember that they have got scales in the hind limbs. Very important point. Okay, and uh, the skin is dry. They have a dry skin. Dry skin. Uh, they have got an oil gland at the base of the tail. Oil gland at the base of the tail. At the base of the tail, oil gland is present. And you know, uh, you'll find the birds, they are scratching, they are just turning their head back. And they are scratching the base of the tail and, you know, trying to get something out of it in their beak and trying to put that beak on their feathers. This is known as, this is known as 
preening. This oiling the feathers is called preening. Preening. Therefore, these glands can be called as preen. P R. Preen glands. The oil glands. A K. A K means also known as preen glands. Preen glands. This will help the feather to become oily. And you know, feathers should be oily because oil can resist water. Suppose if the feather become wet, it become heavy, and that can hamper the flying ability of the bird. So to fly, it should have uh, the feathers should be hydrophobic. So these are the external characteristics. Okay, they don't have jaws. Jaws are absent. Teeth are absent. In place of jaws and teeth. They have got a beak. They have got a beak, George. Can you remind me what uh, beak is called in Telugu? I remember. I just just missed it. The moment you write the first few words, I will. Uh, I can say the remaining one. Beak. What do you call beak in Telugu? In Hindi, we call it George. Okay, so they have got a beak. Muku, muku, ya, yeah, muku. So they have got a beak or muku, and uh, they don't have teeth. Okay, and since now let us think about this. They, they don't have teeth. Anything which is hard, it is difficult for them to really digest it because they don't have teeth to crush them. Therefore, God has given a crusher inside their elementary canal. And you know what is a crusher known as? Gizzard. Their elementary canal has a crop and a gizzard. Crop. Crop is just before the gizzard to store, and the gizzard is a grinding mill. And only by grinding, after grinding, the food can go further. <clears throat> These are the only vertebrates those who have a gizzard, crop, and gizzard. And how to remember that they are having gizzard? Just remember, they don't have teeth. They have muku. No teeth. If there are no teeth and no jaws, how they? Crush how they chew, and therefore they don't. Uh, they they can uh, swallow the food, and then in the gizzard, further crushing takes place. So far, we have seen in the invertebrates, uh, gizzard is present, but in the vertebrate, birds have gizzard. Okay. Externally, we have seen fore limb modified into wings, hind limb for walking, running, clasping. For clasping, they have a typical avian pattern. Okay, what else we see? Jaws and teeth are absent in modern birds. In place of that, they have a muku or a beak. What else we see? Skin is dry, just like the reptile. Skin is dry. What about the scales? Yes, hind limbs may have scales because the skin is covered by uh, feathers. Okay, therefore we don't make out the scales. But hind limb, where feathers are absent, there we can make out the presence of scales. Claws are also present. Now you know in the hind limbs, uh, skin is dry. Okay, moist skin. Kis mein tha? Amphibian. Amphibian. Reptiles, birds, mammals. They have a dry skin. Our skin dry. That is the basis of all the moisturizer industry. Because we have a dry skin, so we have to moisturize it. We have natural moisturizers in the skin, but cosmetics can make those moisturizers, you know, become very popular. But uh, similarly, who else wants the moisturizer? You know, birds require a moisturizer. Reptiles also require moisturizers. Okay, poor reptiles without moisturizer. Birds, they are themselves moisturizing. They are just scratching their beak. That is called preening, so that they because if the feathers remain dry and if they become wet, they cannot fly, and that they and if they can't fly, they cannot run away from the predator. So you so important for them to remain light and now so they, if, when they don't have teeth, you can relate it to the crop and gizzard in their elementary canal. Let's go inside. In the inside, we can see that. Heart is four chambered. They have got four chambered heart. The respiratory organ is the uh, lungs only. But they don't have diaphragm. And if they don't have diaphragm, then how the gases are being or the air is being taken inside? Now just imagine our case. What happens in us in mammals? The chest expands. 
lungs also expand pressure inside the lungs become lesser than the atmospheric pressure and air enters into the lungs now this system is not possible in case of birds so they have got another system they have got air sacs ha huh. they are non respiratory they are not the alveoli type there is no exchange happening they are non respiratory air sacs and they have got many around nine air sacs connected to the lungs now what we can divide the air sacs into two group anterior group and the posterior group anterior group okay doing one function and posterior group doing one function now all these air sacs they contract with the body and they constrict with the body i mean they 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 relax with the body and they constrict with the body just like our uh, lungs our lungs also as the chest expand lungs expand same as their body expand the air sac expand lungs are not air sac expand all the air sac expand together and when the body can you know contract the air sac also constrict same when the air sac expand what have been said there is a negative pressure develop inside the air sac air sac it becomes suck, sucking type they can take air from outside or they can take air out of the lungs and when they contract right the air pushed out of it same mechanism high to low pressure okay uh, i'll see if i can get a simple uh, picture of the avian lung i will show you uh, or a avian system they have a very unique system of respiration comprised of avian avian uh, breathing breathing animation animation yeah. now these are the air sacs and the brown color are the lungs obviously they are the lungs okay uh, if you open the human body also na, the human lungs are also uh, very dark very black tough male skin dekho industry ullu bana rahe sab logon ko ye 100% all make fool of us this is a bird here their lungs are there they don't have a diaphragm so there is no thoracic cavity and what you see this one is the uh, their esophagus uh, sorry their trachea trachea i think this is not a animation is it a picture or animation that tell me why are you why it is not telling avian respiration is not only unique is the most efficient form of respiration in the world how good is it because there and uh, there by the soul that it perhaps as a, a way of supporting a higher metabolism more active अननेसेसरी लीव इट बच्चो सो इट इज बेटर आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू इजियर देन दिस वन ओके लेट मी गो टू द बोर्ड एंड आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू दिस इज जस्ट मेकिंग फूल ऑफ अस दे शुड बी बैंड फ्रॉम यूट्यूब उल्लू बना रहे हैं बच्चों को ये एवियन अभी आया था ना यहाँ पर ये देखो ये बेटा देखो सो दे आर द लंग्स ओके एंड लंग्स डोंट हैव एल्वी इन द बर्ड्स they have got air capillaries remember i'll be going a very fast one so <clears throat> lot of thing you have to imagine okay and uh, you can imagine that uh, this is a bird and uh, this is a bird <clears throat> this is a bird you can see 
and uh, this is the neck of the bird and now can you imagine ye gardan hai neck okay and uh, this is the and from the airway all the anterior group can be uh, collected into one i can do all collected all the anterior group of air sacs as one because they work together and all the posterior group of the air sacs i can make a single one so they are the all the posterior group of air sacs so it is easy for us to understand all the posterior group and the anterior group together okay beta right and uh, this trachea is connected to the posterior group of air sacs there is force from these anterior air sacs and there are a lot of valves here this is all connected by so many valves there is another system here highly efficient and this is again coming out and nostrils so what happens is that and this these are the this provides capillaries in the lungs these lining lining these are the lungs what happens is that the bird all all these air sacs anterior and posterior group this is anterior group this is posterior group all these air sacs they expand together when the air sacs expand heat generated from muscle so disturb kar raha hai no sense someone was disturbed all the air sacs when they expand negative pressure develop inside them and because of that air enters air from here air enters here now air cannot enter here the valve system is like that so now you can see that you have air in the posterior group of air sacs now all of them contract when they contract pressure is created and because of that air comes in the lungs yes air cannot go out from here air can come in the lungs okay now again all of them expand when all of them expand what will happen a negative pressure develop in the anterior group all the air will come in the anterior and new air new air will enter into the posterior all of them contract now what will happen the one that came in the anterior it will go out and the one which was filled in the posterior will come in the lungs okay like that you understand right so this is <clears throat> avian respiration so when the air goes inside it takes two cycles for the same air to come out two cycle means when the air goes in, uh, inside inspiration expiration in expiration it go in the lungs again inspiration it goes in the air sac again expiration now it comes out just an idea so air sacs they assist in respiration are they respiratory respiratory means that is exchange of gas possible no beta they are non respiratory they are not like alveoli no exchange of gas occurs in these air sac okay i hope this idea you got so dry skin then they have got lungs for breathing lungs for breathing kidneys for excretion and without any problem you can think that they have got uric acid as or they are uricotalic they are birds are uricotalic they are pulmonary respiration and uricotalic and they have a four chambered heart four chambered heart complete double circulation four chambered heart they have a complete double circulation complete double circulation so these are some basic points about the birds and i think uh, these are enough for you to identify four limbs modified into wings yes one more thing if you see their long bones which bone long bones okay i will make it as a okay their dash bones dash bones have have air cavities air cavities this is a different thing that they have dash bone have air cavities now this makes the bones lighter this makes the bone lighter and lighter will easy to fly so this is a flying adaptation in the birds okay so which one is more heavier long bones so here the answer is the long bones have air cavities which make them lighter which help them now what do you think they <clears throat> if the air if the urinary bladder is not present in the body it is good for them na because anything they can drop they can be out they can keep it out it is good for their body so that weight can become lighter yes bachcho 
the birds they don't have a urinary bladder they don't have a urinary bladder okay so the system is such that so whenever they pee they pee all the urine together they need not to store it because their urine is not a liquid urine their urine is a very uh, like a paste like a paste you know like a white <laughs> white paste whenever you see a bird dropping in the bird dropping you see two part one is more paste like one is more liquid dark brown so the paste type is their urine containing uric acid and the one which is dark brown that is their fecal discharge and they release both of them together they release both the system both the things together okay so that is about the avian birds now examples of uh, birds are very important before that these type of bones are known as pneumatic bones pneuma means air air pneuma these type of bones are called pneumatic bones pneumatic now palate yeah fecal palate yeah you can say the bird droppings guano or fecal palate in fact commercial <laughs> commercial level uric acid production is done with the help of the birds dropping yes commercial level of uric acid production is done but using the birds dropping okay beta i have one uh, pillow at my home which is made from the birds feather light feather the down feather and it is very very warm very warm although it is not that much useful here as compared to the my hometown where the temperature is very low in winters but it is very very soft so it can it can be folded you can roll it and it is very very soft and very comfortable it is made from the birds feather in fact the shuttlecock the original shuttlecocks are made from birds feathers right so why not the uric acid commercial production of uric acid is done from the birds dropping one student argued <clears throat> yes so acha bachcho let's now come to the examples of birds so commonly that we see the birds all around are you getting my voice aa raha hai na my voice is coming uric acid uric acid is used in industries many industries they use uric acid they used in industries i think uh, to make fertilizers you require as chemicals you require uric acid my voice is coming okay very good now common birds that you find all around you are crow like pigeon okay pigeon is called columba crow is called corvus pigeon called columba crow called corvus then if you are lucky you can see a peacock around you and peacock is called pau the peacock is called pau we write pau as p a v o p a v o because of the sound it produces pau pau the sound it produces it is our national bird okay the ostrich okay we don't see them outside the uh, in india we don't see them out, 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 you know outside uh, zoo but ostrich call is true theo is true theo but we see parrot and parrot is called sitakula parrot is called sitakula p s i sitta sitakula parrot parrot is called sitakula corvus is crow corvus columba pigeon neofron neofron vulture neofron vulture aptinoditis you know one day one uh, old student of mine she said that Sir, you walk like uh, penguin. I was walking like this. Okay, you walk like penguin. <clears throat> so penguin aptinoditis. I thought the same thing. Where have you seen the penguin? It is not around us. So aptinoditis, aptinoditis penguin, aptinoditis. Okay. I hope, bacho, you can remember all these names. Uh, you should. Two uh, thousand. Nineteen or two thousand twenty, a question came: Which of the following animal has pneumatic bones? And uh, four options are given. Uh, three of them are different animal, and one was a bird. And you know which bird was that? It was vulture, neofron, vulture, neofron, neofron, vulture, neofron. 
any other bird struthio penguin what is common between struthio what is common between penguin emu kiwi and uh, penguin kiwi ostrich emu what is common in all of them penguin ostrich kiwi emu yes vinay you are right to and uh, sajid husain also said yes many people said they are flight less very good chintu hari sajid vinay sharanya ruchi all identified vag devi very good flight less birds okay anuraj flight less birds oviparous okay now this it is also not bad that they are oviparous it is also not bad but among these birds only oviparous are all birds all birds are oviparous okay all birds are oviparous okay statement number 1 all birds are oviparous statement number 2 all mammals are viviparous one is correct two is correct both are correct both are wrong i'll give you hint na so that you you can answer well statement 1 statement 2 statement number 1 says that all birds all birds ov statement number 2 all mammals all mammals vivi vivi birds okay now 1 2 3 and 4 one says that only one correct only two correct two correct and three is both correct both correct and fourth is both wrong both wrong first one is only one correct or only two correct ah ji 1 2 3 4 come on guys yes very good correct answer is only one correct only all birds are oviparous this is correct <clears throat> okay all mammals are not viviparous because we have some oviparous like duck billed platypus platypus ornithorhynchus it is a viviparous it is a oviparous mammal <clears throat> yes exception i swear this question just came to my mind it is a fresh question i just made it uh we can give two options like that all birds are oviparous and how i got it because someone answered the common thing in all those birds that oviparous and i could not deny that because that is also correct in all the birds but yes no doubt one more thing common to them is that they are flightless birds very good they cannot fly fastest running bird fastest running bird is ostrich ostrich is the fastest running bird recently extinct bird anyone can tell me recently extinct bird last time it was seen in portugal uh, mauritius mauritius sorry mauritius dodo very good dodo very good recently extinct bird is dodo recently extinct for the answer of recently now who will tell me the answer of fastest runner fastest runner who will answer this question come on hmm try karo ostrich very good fastest runner is ostrich fastest runner is ostrich and uh, what is clasping clasping is clasping is clutching the branch of a tree by the avian pattern i told you na that three digits here and one digit here and then holding the tree that is called clasping the tree clasping so birds hind limb help in clasping and fore limb helps in flying okay bachcho fetacula is parrot very good pao pao is peacock pao the peacock makes a sound pow pow okay in rajasthan we had actually that time when we were kids at that time i think everywhere we have plenty of uh, peacock but when urbanization happened then slowly and slowly we are losing the peacock 
And God forbid, if anyone kills a peacock, it is a crime, it is a culpable crime. You know, he can be punished by court. Okay, Corvus, Corvus is crow, kawa, crow. Corvus is crow. Columba, Columba is pigeon. Columba is pigeon. Okay, but so now let's come to what is uh, Pagaram? Pa Pagaram. Pa what is the Telugu word for pigeon? Telugu Pavuram. Yes, Pavuram. I thought Pavuram. 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 Pigeon. Pavuram. Pigeon. And a flying mammal, Gabalam. A flying mammal, which is there in my uh, place where I live in, uh, in, in Vijayawada. Uh, there are so many near my place because there is a garden nearby. Yes, Gabalam. Gabalam, a flying mammal. So we'll discuss that in the mammals, Bacho. Let us discuss the mammals. Mammals, all mammals are characterized by mammary glands. Memory glands are by default present. Memory glands are present in all of them. Number one. Now, I'll tell you. At least seven points can I make? Maximum important point I will make. Second point is they all have hair. All have hair. Okay? All have pinna. All have pinna. All have a diaphragm to separate their thoracic and abdominal cavity. All have corpus callosum to connect the right hemisphere to the left hemisphere. Okay, uh, these are the important character, and they are, of course they are homeotherm like birds. Unique to mammal, unique to mammals are only these one. Okay, is viviparity is unique to mammal? No, but unique to mammal, mammary glands unique to mammal. Hair unique to mammal. Right. Uh, these are the special mammalian characters and three type of teeth. Yes, you are right. Three type of teeth. Crow is khaki. Crow is khaki, yes, okay. Kawa, Hindi is kawa. But so three type of teeth and that you know. No need to me to tell you. You know the three type of teeth. Mammalian teeth. Heterodont, uh, thico, thicodont, diphyodont. Heterodont, thicodont, diphyodont. Heterodont, thicodont, diphyodont. There are three types of teeth. So enough points we have gathered or we need some more points? Memory glands, okay. They all have pinna, they all have hair, they all have diaphragm. Then they all have corpus callosum, corpus callosum and uh, three types of teeth. Uh, dentition, mammalian dentition, special mammalian dentition, <laughs> special mammalian dentition, and uh, these are the special one, only mammalian characters. Any other thing? Any other mammalian character do you remember? I think enough. Six are enough, no? Okay, I'll keep this number here. If it comes to my mind, I'll tell you. But uh, these are the, these you have to remember. These are unique to mammals. Unique to mammals, unique characters. Example of mammals, example dog, cat, dog, cat, rat, dog, cat, rat, mouse, dog, cat, rat, mouse, elephant, 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 horse. You know, it looks like when I am writing these names, it looks like a kid's class. We are making them say horse, dog, cat, horse. Then dolphin, dolphin, yes, but so it is a mammal, dolphin, whale, particularly the blue whale, the largest one. Then uh, bat, bat is also called flying fox, flying fox, bat, flying fox. Okay, these are the common mammals that are around us. Common mammals, uh, if any name comes, we'll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's make it 10. So it will be good, no? 10 names. Any other name? Yes. Platypus. Doug Bill Platypus. 
डग बिल प्लेटिपस डग बिल प्लेटिपस कैंगरो 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 हाउ वी कैन फॉरगेट दिस गाय कॉल्ड कैंगरो इलेवन कैंगरो मंकी आवर एंड सिस्टर मंकी यस ट्वेल्व मंकी कैन आई टेल यू द रिसर्स मंकी ओके आई टेल यू द रिसर्स मंकी विच हैज मेनी सिमिलैरिटीज विद अस in fact it's a, it's rbc uh, you know antigens are same as our rbc antigens it, uh, it has got the same d antigen in, in fact c d e all three are same the d antigen is called rh antigen rh antigen okay bachcho now dog i am writing the scientific names you all have to recall uh, along with me dog is canis canis cat felis felis rat rattus rattus mouse moose moose the sanskrit word for mouse is mushak the sanskrit word for mouse is mushak mushak here also you will find the scientific name is also same it is moose moose okay we we'll find elephant elephas this is elephas elephas horse equus horse equus dolphin delphinus delphinus easy to remember okay uh, we can write camel also i just got camel in my mind camel <coughs> dolphin is delphinus camel is camelus 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 and uh, whale blue whale balenoptera belly belino balenoptera 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 blue whale bat bat is pteropus pteropus bat is pteropus okay platypus is ornithorhynchus or nitho rinkus rinkus okay it look like a, a duck it look like a duck therefore ornithorhynchus kangaroo macropus macropus kangaroo macropus rhesus monkey macaca macaca mulatta macaca mulatta so this is so important because we have similarity of antigen camel is camelus camel is camelus and uh, so easy to remember i'll tell you i'll erase them can i erase the easy to remember so no problem for them for us to remember them easy to remember camel camelus hata do theek hai then uh, easy to remember is dolphin delphinus dolphin delphinus elephant elephas because their names are looking similar na elephant elephas rat rattus rat rattus mouse moose mouse moose okay we bell very no pterop bat pteropus now how to remember pterop patero patero means wing patero means wing now you can relate bat with the winged so wing okay patero patero means wings so it is a flying fox gabalum then platypus platypus ornitho ornitho means birds ornitho means birds the word ornitho ornitho stand for birds so i'll tell you how it look like platypus platypus you will find that rightly named ornithorhynchus you see how it looks like see the <coughs> duck like see the duck like bill duck like bill duck like okay so this is a duck bill platypus it is oviparous this guy is oviparous mammal oviparous duck bill platypus uh, therefore ornithorhynchus ornitho ornitho stand for ornitho means birds 
फिर सो इट इज इजी टू रिमेंबर नाउ और नीथो यू कैन रिलेट ओके और नीथो और नीथो मींस बर्ड्स एंड नाउ दिस कैन आल्सो बी इजीली टू रिमेंबर सो लेट्स गो बैक नाउ एंड सी व्हाट ऑल लेफ्ट देयर ओके हॉर्स इक्वल्स इक्वल्स वी ऑल नो हॉर्स अच्छा डॉग कैट इजी टू रिमेंबर डॉग हैज कैनाइन टीथ longer then uh, uh bat patero patero wing and platybus ornithorhynchus platybus ornithorhynchus you can also remember this okay now what are left are macaca rhesus monkey kangaroo macropus whale balenoptera cat felis yaad hai sabko ye this is also remember okay so i think you don't you need not to take tension about any name and most of these names tiger lion okay we can take the name of tiger tiger panthera okay panther panthera panthera tigris panthera tigris and panthera panthera leo panthera leo tiger and lion tiger and lion Panthera tigris, Panthera leo. Panthera tigris, Panthera leo. Leo means lion only. Leo means lion. Leo, lion. Okay, brother. So Panthera. All these are these cats are called panthers. Panthera. Okay, but you. That's all about the mammals. Also, with this, we come to the end of this chapter. Animal kingdom. Once you practice a question, then only you will get the. uh you know the command over it and try to uh, do the questions of uh, based on ncert if any question is based on any subject outside ncert or, or any name outside ncert then uh, see that how much it is if one or two things which are there which your teacher has told some names some extra names then it is fine otherwise you can leave those questions you can leave those question but first practice those and why i am saying uh, practice those because you know there will be questions which are like uh, which will give a statement type and a statement type of question you have to think a lot and definitely one or two things in the from the ncert will be like that which maybe you don't know about them so when you do it when you do the bits and to answer that to see the to open the ncert then you realize yes 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 it is both direct and indirect acha given acha it has got a muscular pharynx it is given like that so uh, you will realize that by doing some bits and uh, well this is all about uh, you can do the bits from various books that you have pyq is the best place to do the questions pyqs and uh, revise the main main things the main main names uh, in names also you do the same thing for example there are about more than 90% of the names that already you know right so make sure that why you should know that for example we are giving some reason why we should know equus came many times why should why we should know rattus the name is rhyming with rat okay like elephant elephant like that and finally when you write from every phylum one or the two names which you usually uh, not coming so easily you will find that only on one page all those important names have come and you can just read them and automatically confidence for those names also come so this is not meant for everyone but for those who miss one or two names only names from ncert to be done okay bachcho and uh, we start with the structural organization now this chapter has few parts for example this chapter has uh, animal tissues and morphology uh, in morphology uh, we have morphology anatomy both we have animals two invertebrates and a vertebrate the invertebrates are fratima periplaneta and the vertebrate is rana fratima is earthworm periplaneta is cockroach and rana now we'll try to say their scientific name as much as we can okay rana is the frog the indian bull frog is rana tigrina having tiger like stripes on the back okay so 
Now, what they have done in the new edition of the NCRT book, they have cut off this chapter, and in this chapter, they only kept Rana Tigrina, the vertebrate. So, whatever the logic behind that is there. But my suggestion to everyone out there, till one or two years when we are not pakka sure about what will be there in the exam, what will be the idea of the paper setter, do old book, complete old book. Ha! Huh. Right now, we will be giving more focus on frog now, right? Earlier, frog was just done very fast. But now, in the frog, we'll be giving more focus. Uh, regarding the tissues, okay, because uh, we are meeting today once again, in that, I will tell you, uh, or I will make you revise the animal tissues. Up to at least the connective tissue, I will make you revise. Now, as per the timetable that I am having in my mobile phone, there is a class scheduled. But if there is a misprint up, down, or some other class, then you will be informed, okay? So, all the very best, Bacho. God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Gym material, yes, you should. I thought that if you don't have a gym, then Divya Dinam. Yes, if you have gym material, that is the best thing to do. Because whatever we are thinking, we have incorporated. In fact, in the new gym, in the new gym, now, in the last, uh, I have added few pages and these which I think that extra frog revision, a final revision on frog that one has to give along with the questions have been given at the last of that. So, yes, Jim has got uh, one exercise which has only MCQ uh, based on NCRT where you, you need not to think that this question came from NCRT or outside NCRT. So, no doubt, Jim is wonderful. Uh, last year, gym was good, very good, but uh, this year we have also updated a lot, also updated. So, last year, gym also made by us only, or we can say not made by us, but, you know, compiled by us, obviously, to be very honest. And uh, yes, you can do that. How to get the gym material? We'll let you know, don't worry. Right now, the, they are under print, so they will come and... Uh, once you take the admission, once you take the admission in our college, I think they will give you uh, the gym book. Hmm? Uh, some people know about that, how they get the gym uh, in the online student. And whenever you are talking about the admission at that time, you can talk that. Uh, or if online students are not eligible for gym, then I am there for you. I will also share. Because I'll be there in the group, final group. And I'll be sharing the main, main important exercise. That is my promise to you. No need to worry about that. Okay? So, all the best. Okay.